Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Darkest Dungeon. I know there was a little bit of a delay in the videos, and I apologize for that. Just give me a second, adjusting the video settings to maybe make it a little bit less of a dark dungeon. That's maybe a little crazy. It's like a dusky dungeon. This looks more like what I'm seeing on my screen. Um, apologies for the delay in the videos. It's not that I was tiring of Darkest Dungeon. We just had like some bulk recording sessions in order to get things like the Goofball Goals Tournament done and Roundtable Podcast and the City Skyline series, so it's all in, in, in preparation for being away at, at PAX for uh, a little while. Darkest Dungeon isn't going anywhere, uh, at least not until we finish all of the enemies or all the bosses, and we still have a, a few left to do there. We have busts. What do we use busts to upgrade? Well, we can get uh, better trinkets, but honestly, I haven't really been using our trinkets all that much. I, admittedly, I'm not playing this like a min-max player, but we're still doing well enough that I kind of don't feel like we have to. I think busts are used to upgrade the abbey and maybe the bar. Yeah, busts can upgrade the... the we can maybe even get the abbey to 100%, but I'd rather just make the bar cheaper, <laughs> if we can. Reduces treatment by 15, but that uses portraits. Alright, let's upgrade our abbey. I mean, we do use it from time to time. Unless, I know this is going to be frustrating to, to some of you. Let me just make sure you don't use it for the guild. The guild is portraits, and blacksmith is deeds. Okay, so we'll upgrade our abbey. If we can get it to 100%, I mean, I'm sure there's probably like a steam achievement eventually for that or something. We'll upgrade our transept, uh, and we'll keep going here. We're out of crests, actually. Alright, so what we're doing is actually, uh, we're kind of grinding out because we have, uh, we have bosses left to kill. Where do I even see, like, what we're doing? Is this it? Yeah. Um, we, we have three bosses left to kill, but they're the level 5 versions of the bosses, and we only have one level 5 character. So we've got to get, like, the other members of the A team, and the B team, and maybe even, like, a B and a half, you know, like a BC team, up to that degree. So if we fail a mission, we still have some, uh, some chances to come back from it. So I'm, my number one priority is leveling up uh, level 4 enemies. Or, sorry, level 4 uh, companions here. So we have a long mission... Oh, wait, this is a level 3 boss. Hunt, hunt the Necromancer. Kill one Necromancer. Is this a... This is not a boss, though. We've already done it. <laughs> De defeat the Necromancer. I'd rather not do it again if I can avoid it, but maybe we gotta beat him a couple times or something. Get lower disease resist, but higher blight and bleed resist. That's pretty good. We have... Activate three infected corpses. Uh, get a critical stone out of that. Deeds. Deeds are probably what we would like to get. And there's a short mission. Sure, I'll tell you what, let's do a medium activate three infected corpses mission. Uh, and we'll take basically the A-team minus me. And if it's going to be minus me, that means it should be plus another damage dealer, which in this case is probably going to be K3.0. So that team is typically Malls as our healer, Nick in this spot, and it's usually Quill at the front, Kate here. Is this good enough? Um, I, I think this should be fine. It's a medium mission. I love having Mathis as part of this as well, but um, we'll, we'll have to throw him out on a, a different mission. Oh, we don't have to throw him out on a different mission. We could throw him on here instead of Quill, but Quill's so close to leveling up, I kind of feel like we should just go for it. What's dangerous is that both Bear and Mauls have almost hit level 5, so we gotta get the other units out of here as quickly as possible, otherwise we won't be able to have a healer on our actual, uh, uh, on our missions where we're leveling the other units up, and that seems dangerous. We could probably roll, like, no healer and throw in a utility class like a Jester or something like that, but it seems very stupid. Alright. I'm catching a lot of flack, and I, admittedly, I'm assuming that that flack is deserved. Um, but I'm catching a lot of flack for, um, not taking optimum inventory stuff. I'm gonna tell you, like, the honest-to-god truth about how I feel about that right now. How I feel about uh, inventory manage or not inventory min management, but min-maxing in Darkest Dungeon is when Darkest Dungeon gets to the point that it's hard enough to warrant that kind of min-maxing, I will pay closer attention to it. This is not to say the game is too easy necessarily, but I am playing pretty leisurely and not really running into that much trouble. I welcome the opportunity for the game to shit on me, but until it does, I'm not going to sweat taking like a little bit too many torches, you know. Can't take it with you. We should take some kind of um, helping... Uh, tool there, like some kind of disease ridding tool. And it's not trying to say, like, I, I really do appreciate the feedback and the and constructive criticism where people are like, you should take less food. That's an objectively good criticism. I can take back more rewards as a result of taking less food. Thank you for that. But at the same time, I'm not going to dedicate too much mental energy to it until we actually um, start to 
the game kind of warrants it, if that makes sense. Alright, so this is my chance to redeem myself from that uh, three infected corpses shenaniganery from earlier. Let me investigate. I sense the work of spirits. Please, Nick. Treasures are encased with the remains. Thank you. 50 gold, yeah. We're rich. This is It's been a couple of days since I played Darkest Dungeon, so I'm looking forward to maybe, you know, having a leisurely mission here, getting back into the strategy of things. As Quill, we can throw out an Intimidate, but I usually prefer to do that when there's super weak units. These units, or, or super strong units, like, relatively speaking. Because all of these units are relatively the same, or relatively similar, I should say, I'm gonna just, uh... Go for some chops here in the hopes that we can use like a breakthrough and then get some extra damage. Uppercut slice uh, can be somewhat damaging. Resisted the, the move there, which I appreciate. Please... Actually, if Nick moves backwards, it doesn't really matter. What is this? I've never noticed that before. Is that some kind of like light bonus? Have they... There's been an update to Darkest Dungeon since I've played it. I guess these characters have like sun bonuses or something like that. It's very strange. Um... We could throw out a Barbaric Yop. Your stun resist is 45. It'll probably... Eh, it might not get a kill. Let's just go for the Breakthrough instead, which is a little bit more guaranteed. Obviously, she gets debuffed as a result, but that's okay. Mauls, uh, it's possible that she can do 9 damage, but it's pretty unlikely. It might be better for her to just go for a stun with a little bit less damage, but they're gonna die in the next hit anyway. They resisted the stun, which I don't like, and... Uh, I'll tell you what, these guys are not that bad. We should probably just go for the... Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. We'll go for a hue here. Ah, uh, you know what that is at the top? That's actually a turn indicator. So this is the second turn of the fight. Interesting. So there has been an update to the game. I didn't realize that that had happened. I should look at the patch notes. Maybe there's been some balance changes to classes or something like that. Good to know. Like, even though... It, it's, I'm a hypocrite is basically what I'm trying to say. Even though I think that the game is a little bit uh, on the leisurely side right now, and I, I would hope for maybe a higher difficulty mode in the future um, when, the, when the game actually comes out, I, uh, I do find myself theory crafting stuff and like looking at the balance between classes and when there's a change it's almost like an esport where I'm like oh man you shouldn't have changed that they were already too weak or like you you should debuff the leper instead so I'm really interested in, in that kind of stuff uh, in this game and I think that's the mark of a good game even though it's been it's been pretty easy recently in darkest dungeon for me I'm aware that you know danger could uh, find us around any corner and also I uh... well let's just go to this treasure chest before I finish this thought you can do it, Quill. Left luggage. The luggage clearly should not have been abandoned. There's valuables inside. 25 gold. Not that valuable. 40% on traps. 60% on traps. 55% on traps. All right, Kate 3.0. This is your opportunity to shine here. Good job. Let's crank on some torches. I want to see if we crank on a torch. Do we get that light bonus under our characters? Or maybe that's like a turn order thing that I just have not parsed yet. Anyway. Infected corpse? Infected corpse! Redemption! Alright, we don't need to necessarily get anything for that. I'm okay with it. Um, we'll, we'll go to this treasure room. We have the ability to camp, so we can pretty much have like one situation that goes poorly and then recover from it, which is more than we might need. But it's always nice to have camping if, for no other reason than stress relief. So we're gonna have a little combat, and then we're gonna have... Uh, Oh, this is a good opportunity for Intimidate. We're gonna have a little combat. Oh, you know what that is? That indicates whether or not they've taken their turn, I think. So we're gonna try and Intimidate here in order to push this guy back. Also does a decent amount of damage. He resisted the debuff and the push, which is unfortunate. Anyway, what I'm getting at is I'm still interested in Darkest Dungeon. I'm not getting tired of it, even though it's uh, been relatively easy as of late. And I, I just hope that they add kind of like an XCOM-style classic difficulty level. I know they said they haven't had any plans to. That was a nasty crit, but... That's all right. We can recover. That's why we have a healer. Um, they they said they haven't had any plans to, but they're gonna rebalance the game uh, as time goes on, basically, based on the data that they get in this, you know, in the, the early access version of the game. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, we're gonna throw out a noxious blast. It's possible that we could land. Uh, I think we'll go for this because then if we hit for six. Yeah. Basically what I'm getting at is like I'm I'm trying to see if we can actually get one unit to lethal damage with the blight, but it's pretty unlikely. I think instead we'll just go for a, a chomp on the unit at the back. It probably okay, it got to the point where they're not gonna get to attack again, which is very worthwhile. Um we'll have mauls throw out a heal. Probably oh we we didn't bring any bandages, right? Okay. We'll have mauls throw out a heal on uh probably on Quill, because he's up at the front. He's a little bit more easily targeted. 
by the melee unit that is still alive. And then we'll try to throw on some blight damage right here. They're not even close to being a lethal, but that's okay. Who gets to go first? They get to go first. I forgot that we were doing four blight damage, actually. Oh, I didn't realize the melee unit could still target Nick. Otherwise, I probably would have attacked Nick instead. Your stun resist is low, so I'm going to go for Barbaric Yop in the hopes of keeping you alive a little bit longer so that we can actually get maybe an extra heal on, on our characters. So I'm going to have Quill do a self-heal. Take himself up a little bit. Uh, Nick, I would rather just have you, like, move on this turn, but... Ah, you, you dirty dog, you accidentally killed him. I needed you to keep him alive. We already don't have room in our inventory for these crests. We do need crests. Um, We'll drop... Uh, I don't want to drop the gold or the deeds. I guess we'll drop the, the citron. And we'll take this with us. Uh, we're going to crank on some torches, get back to decent light here. Because we know we have combat right off the bat here. And this could be a little dangerous if we get surprised. We didn't surprise the enemies either. This this is actually a pretty dangerous encounter. Hopefully we can manage to take out some units quickly. 17 fungal battery. Uh, I think we'll try to try to get a KO here. Bad luck, but it means a barbaric yop or a breakthrough should probably finish the job. I hate you. You got too bad the debuff didn't miss you. All right, that's all right. We got a dodge in there. Rain of blight. We we brought anti venom, so that's okay. Could be worse, at least. Mauls will drink some anti-venom and then heal Nick just for a little bit. But it, it's the fact that the heal is reliable that makes it so useful. I was going to say, watch us get anti-venom or need anti-venom again. Now, we resisted the blight, which is good. What are you getting stressed out about, Kay? You got nothing to worry about. We're going to try a uh, blinding gas on the two units in the back. They don't have super high stun resist. That's all right. We got one of them. I'm okay with that. We're on turn two now. This could stack bleed, which is very dangerous. Luckily, Quill resisted. Mark Prey. Uh, luckily, that didn't go off before we got hit by uh, the last attack, because that's probably going to synergize nicely with some of the stuff that they got going on. So we're going to throw out a hue for an easy kill. We can probably get the other Fungal Grabber on this turn. Um, but you know what? I think we actually maybe throw out a stun again to try to hit the one that we missed last time. All right, beautiful. I didn't want to hit the other one. Well, first off, because we can't, but secondly, because of the... Uh, uh, the fact that uh, they had a higher stun resist as a result of that. So, I think we'll just go for a, a little chop here. It's very unlikely to get a kill. But if we actually hit this one, uh, we might be able to take a hue on the next turn and take them all out. We'll see, though. Good dodge. Very lucky dodge there. Okay, Quill gets to go first. The self-heal is very tempting, I'll admit. But the hue managed to get it done. They still have one stunned unit. I'm very concerned about this groping swipe. If it critted, we could have been in a very dangerous situation. But it didn't. Uh, breakthrough here. We are debuffed. Oh my god, you are the worst. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, yeah, we'll just go for the Noxious Blast. That'll put them at lethal damage thanks to the Blight. The stun will come off in just a second here. I, I think we keep going for the heals, honestly. Because I'd like to leave this encounter better than I started it, even though it seems unlikely. So, I know, what's your stun resist now? 65? We'll try it, just to see if we can get another turn out of this. Lucky us. Alright, so Quill then can take the opportunity to self-heal, because there's only one unit left. And they're gonna die to Blight damage. Who goes next? Okay, the stun is off. Kate goes next. Let's try to get another stun out of her. It's very, very unlikely to work. Yeah, they resisted. So we should just have Nick go for the KO then. We got lucky that they critted, otherwise they could have gotten an attack first. But honestly, that encounter went pretty good. We can't take the Citrin or the Ruby. Um, honestly, like again, I hate to, I hate to say this, but I'm really not concerned about, uh, about our treasure gain at all. Like, I think with respect to our treasure, it doesn't really matter. We've already got a nice enough float. Our units are getting upgraded to the maximum in a, in a reasonably quick time frame. It's not a problem whatsoever. So we're going to come down here. We already got that infected corpse. This is not his mummified remains. I'm still going to go for them every single time. Uh, just because of that one terrible experience I had with the infected corpses mission where I did not uh, actually look for infected corpses. I'm assuming it's only the body or the, like the animal body ones on the ground, but... Let's head into our next encounter. This is bound to have combat. I think we scouted it ahead on our map. Four rabid dogs or crazed gnashers here. Crazed gnashers. Don't give me rabies. Ah, it does more damage and can spread rabies, but I'd prefer not to have it. A chop should work. Wow. 
enemy was so short I couldn't even see uh, how much damage we did on that, but I know it was a crit. I think it was 37. That's pretty good. Double rabies? No, but bleed. That's okay. Ah, so this is great because you can tell what you you can tell what units have not attacked. That way you can plan your stuns a little bit more appropriately without having to remember it. I am a fan of that change. I can understand how some people would maybe think it makes it a little easier, but that that makes it a lot easier to plan your stuns. It just gives you one more thing to think about when you do that. I probably should have used the heals. Um I'm just going to go for what is your blight resist? 95. Okay, so we should go for a bleed instead. Uh I Probably should have used the heals for Mauls, or for, for Nick, rather, but I did not. Your stun resist is not that good. I almost want to go for a Barbaric Yacht, but the chances of hitting are not that amazing. Oh, or he could double crit and get the stun. Sometimes that's going to happen. I'm very thankful for it. I don't think there's any way to avoid camping soon. We've gotten into a lot of combat pretty early on here. You've already attacked. And you are stunned, so I'm just going to go for the hit here, and then a, a breakthrough should be able to get the kill, if if nothing else. So we'll heal Nick up here. It's always nice when you have scouting, because you can plan your camping a little bit more efficiently as a result. But, um, wow, that is some pretty lucky critting there. I'm very happy. Like, stress is not a problem. If we camp and heal wounds, we should be fine. Um, I'll tell you what, I would like to get that gold. I will, I'll throw out uh, the other blight medicine. I know I said we don't need gold, and I still stand by that, but uh, I wouldn't mind getting gold if we can. We know that there's no combat coming up in our next room, and we know that if we go to the left, there's no combat coming that way either. So we can wait a little longer to do our camping if necessary. A very slight heal comes out of that starvation there. This is why I think scouting is one of the most underrated skills in the game. I don't hear people talking about it all that much when they talk about... Um, the like the important yourself. trinkets and stuff to take, but I really like speed for the early hits, and I really like scouting. You don't have to touch this though. Like if you don't want to, you don't have to dig up this grave, Malls. Grave digging is not the healthiest of professions. That's all right. She's okay. No problems whatsoever. And we do have more scouting. Okay, so we do have combat coming in our next room, but then none after that. So I actually think this is a. It's a little early. I like to camp a little later, but I think this is a pretty good opportunity to get our, our camping done. And we have nothing to worry about for stress relief, so all we have to do is, is heal wounds, assuming we have the ability to heal wounds, which we don't. <laughs> Nick can heal wounds on Kate. This is like a full stress relief camping party, that's my mistake. I don't pay enough, I don't pay as much attention to uh, camping as I should. Yeah, Nick can't heal himself. Um... I don't know, try an experimental vapors on Kate. Yeah, there you go. Nobody else has any healing? None? Well, we got six left. We can, um, you know, buff ourselves a little bit. Plus 10 accuracy. I mean, it's decent. And then we have another buff. Plus 10 accuracy, plus 10 dodge. We'll put that on Quill as well. We'll just buff the crap out of him. And hope we don't have to deal with an ambush right away. Um, do we have one... Oh, we do have one skill. Reduce stress by 25, all companions in the street, increase stress by 5. That would be very stupid, because that would actually take us from 0 stress to 5 stress on everybody except Quill. So basically that's spend one uh, respite in order to gain 15 stress. <laughs> it's, a, it's a terrible return on our investment. Alright, we've been ambushed in the night. Totally surprised. Uh, this is not a party that that should be shuffled like this. Quill basically can't operate in this position. We gotta move him, otherwise he suffers stress, so we, we will move him. Uh, Kate might be able to throw out something from the back here, but I'm not fully sure, honestly. Oh, she can still do breakthrough. Alright, so she's better off at the back than Quill is, at least. And, uh... Yeah, please, Eldritch push me back into a position where I belong. Where the eagles fly on the mountain high. We'll move Mauls back a little bit. We could have done a party heal, which might have been fine as well, but there we go. Nick's going to be throwing one out here. Hopefully we get to go first. And by hopefully we get to go first, I mean hopefully we, we, we get to go second. <laughs> uh, a Hugh might be able to finish the job. A Hugh! There we go. That's eh, not so bad. Could have been worse anyway. Uh, I don't really want to get rid of a shovel. I want to keep our food. These are worth a thousand though, so we'll get rid of the Onyx. 
and purpose is made clear. Maybe it would make things a little too easy for idiots like myself, but I really wish that there was a, a way to maybe have like uh, make a bigger backpack. <laughs> Spend like 50,000 gold and make like a bigger backpack so you can get more in the future. That's probably an infected corpse down there. Treasures are hidden behind the web. That's how I feel about the internet sometimes. Worth 500 each? That's alright. We'll close that. Keep the gold in the tree. Infected corpse. The infected corpse has been cleansed. You take stress damage from walking backwards, by the way, but... My hope is that in doing so... Oh, they won't actually let me touch the treasure again. I thought we put the money back in the tree. Um, we'll let Kate handle this trap. Good thing she resisted the blight, because I did get rid of our anti-venom. This might be our third infected corpse, actually. No, it's just a coffin. Alright, this is where I like to use Quill's Intimidate. Even though he has a probably good move resist and good debuff resist. Well, he got debuffed, which is nice. Lower accuracy, because he does have a blanket fire bleed attack. And this is like literal blanket fire here. Thank God I didn't crit. Stun resist 70? What if we... Oh, we can't hit anybody else with it. Alright, we're, we're just gonna have uh, Mauls be like our basic healer here. Even though she's okay offensively, I think it's smarter for us to roll. Um, with pretty much her just as like your standard support healer class. And we're, we'll go for a just standard ye old chop here. I'm not gonna worry about trying to do something that will debuff us. Ah, there we go. That minus 10 accuracy might have... Uh, might have affected us nicely here. Mauls gets to go again, and she'll throw out a quick heal on Quill. Keep the party buffed up, because we have more combat to come. Just go for a direct chop. This guy's going to be dead before he gets to attack again, I think. Bleed resist, splite resist. Hmm. It's close, anyway. It won't quite kill him. He'll have one HP left. But he won't get to attack twice, which is nice, I guess. Um, I mean, we could try and intimidate here. What are we trying to do? I want to kill this guy before he gets a chance to attack. I'll just throw out the easiest attack and, you know, push the other two units up to the front. One of them will get to attack, I think, yeah. And, I mean, Blanket Fire is annoying, but I don't think there's much we could have done about that, except take, like, a 30% chance at a stun, which is not too likely. All right, Quill got a nice resist there. 16, 20. We'll go for the kill on the 16, and that'll make it so a breakthrough can get the kill. Or we could go for a Barbaric Yop and try to keep them both alive, but... Um, I mean, that would just be for healing purposes. I don't think that's necessarily the smartest idea. Could go for a stun here. In fact, I think it's in our best interest to go for that stun. Good. Now we can throw out like some self-heals, but I'm pretty sure Nick is just going to get the KO. Well, they're not going to get to attack again. If they're stunned, do they still get hit by Blight? I believe so. Yeah. Ah, oh, well, we got uh, the extra six heal on Quill is nothing to sneeze at. If only treasure oh my god, there's nothing, there's just not enough to hold. I would like to have more crests, like, we, we could definitely benefit from more crests. I'll throw out the uh, medicinal herbs, and we'll, we'll take the crests, at least. I can't take the gold. Ancient coffin. There is, what do you mean there's nothing of value inside? There's a lot, of, there's bones, dog. Bones are valuable, man. Give us your bones. Crate contains stashed heirlooms I probably cannot hold. I would like to take more deeds. Um, how much floor is left? We can't see. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Deeds. I can't take you. I probably could have gone a little lighter on torches. Like, I probably could have gotten rid of a torch right there. Just wanted to come down here just to see if we still had... Um, if we still had... Uh, An infected corpse. I don't know if they have to show up in rooms that have, like, uh, you know, a special modifier associated with them. I'm not fully convinced one way or the other. We've already been to this one. Okay, good. I'm assuming it's going to be, like, probably in our last room, but somewhat, maybe selfishly, I hope it's not, because this mission has been a little on the long side, and actually, I, maybe because of my party composition, a little on the dangerous side as well. Like, we're not really... Feel or I'm not feeling particularly locked in like I am when we play as like our uh, occultist bounty hunter highwayman hellion uh, combo. So that, I mean, you know, maybe that's on me. But keep this up here. We've used so few torches. I really should just take like eight on medium missions. I think it's a relatively minor thing. Like you're just delaying the inevitable. We are still going to have um, a problem. Just wanted to get yes, the guaranteed somebody. hit. At least if we hit the guaranteed kill, I should say. Um, we're still going to deal with inventory management issues. They're just going to be later. Just laps in concentration. 
Do you have Blight Resist? 95. Bleed Resist, 95. So we should just go for whatever attack hits harder. 4 to 6, 7 to 10. Actually, your Bleed Resist is a lot lower, but your HP is as well. Let's try this. Maybe not the smartest idea. Uh, Wicked Hack should get the kill if it hits, and it does. And your Stun Resist is pretty low, so I'd actually like to use this opportunity, if possible, to throw out some delicious heals and maybe get our party into an awesome situation. We'll try to stack up a stun. The reason I wanted to do that is just so that we actually had the lowest amount of damage possible coming out. It ended up not working out that way. Instead, we had an incredibly high amount of damage, but at least that does the, uh, the other thing and gives us stress relief. Anyway, we'll go for the KO next. The timing here worked out pretty well. Aw, oh, shit. They might get to do another stress attack as a result. They do not. Good! We left that uh, a lot better than we found it. We can't even hold 50 gold, which is kind of embarrassing. We're not supposed to have any combat with our, uh, our next encounter here, and hopefully we get scouting, and we find out if there is combat in our next room, and we do indeed. Book, which could be a shovel area, and then that could be our infected corpse right there. I'm a little skeptical, because it's a little early, and there's uh, our shovel, as mentioned. Where's our next combat? Not until the room. So we don't need to burn a torch until then, if we even want to. Sure, check it out. The sack is empty. That's what my doctor told me when I got fertility treatment. <laughs> Sad story that I just made up right now. Oh, there's our last infected corpse, right? Well, we have two inventory spots. I think we should probably like make a move here. And I'll just take like the first two things that I can get. I'm not going to worry about min-maxing our inventory because I'm... I'm not that guy. This one's just a beast carcass. Uh, if we'd kept our medicinal herbs, we could have done something there. No surprises here. 11 HP is a 83% chance to at least get the kill, and we did. This is a fairly easy encounter, but if they stack up a lot of bleed, or they give us a lot of stress damage... I mean, the most important thing is I'd rather not have to go back to town and put these people in stress relief. They're looking pretty good right now. That can change, though. And we don't need to worry about healing nearly as much now. Because uh, they'll all be healed when they come back to town anyway. And we know that there's a very, very low chance of uh, failing the mission. So we might as well just uh, just go for the KOs and try to keep stress damage as low as possible. That is 16 damage effectively. 4 times 3 plus the 4 that it did directly. We need to do 9 damage. Or we could just do 42 if you don't mind. <laughs> that works just fine as well. And uh, we'll go for the chop kill here. And I'm assuming that'll fill up our inventory. No, not at all. All right, well, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll crank on another couple of torches here. We still got eight left. It's on me for being an idiot. Uh, a relatively easy encounter here, and we surprised them. This is lovely. Okay, we'll go for the, we'll go for the hit. I'm not going to worry about Intimidate too much. We'll go for the double stun. It got one stun, which I think is pretty okay. Breakthrough got a kill and wounded two other units to the point where Hugh can at least get one guaranteed kill next time. Uh, and in fact, let's throw out a... Uh, what's your stun resist? 45. Let's throw out a stun. Oh I, oh, I hit the right unit. Okay, good. I threw out a stun there to hopefully give them no chance on the next turn. And also, that'll make it so a breakthrough or a Hugh can actually get two kills. But instead of going for the Hugh, we're just going to go for the chop because these two units uh, are both stunned right now. So we might as well uh, throw out a... There's no point in doing a stun at this point. Just throw out a hit on you. Why do it this way? Because we have so many AoE attacks that I want to try to get them to the point where we can uh, take them out. What's your Blight Resist? 95, Bleed is only 45. Ah, Nick! You ruined it! We're going to have a chance to get hit now! How could you? Like they? Oh, no, they don't get to attack. All right. Well, that was a super easy encounter. That's pretty much entirely as a result of the chop. Laden with loot. And we get to keep moving on to the very last room here, should we want to, which, at this point, I don't see why not. Sure, check out the left luggage. If it was trapped, it would have been bad, but it's not. All right, well, just the a single torch left inside of there. I guess they thought we'd be in a little bit of a weirder position. Thank you for not touching that corrupt altar, by the way. Should have eaten our food before this, but it doesn't matter. We're done. All right. Well, let's see what we get here uh, in terms of levels. Anybody hit level 5? Mauls is pretty close. I'm glad that she didn't, though, because that means she can go out on another mission with us. Faded. Chance to turn any mish, er, mish, miss into a hit. And Eldritch, uh, Fear of Eldritch. That sucks. But Wailed Adventurer is pretty solid. 
For now, though, uh, we'll do stress relief if we need to uh, when we come back to town. But thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.